Nick Grant Putnam here, Putnam Landscape Associates. Just met you at your house. Um, just want to go over some of the details. So when you have the tree company here, I would probably also have them quote grinding the stump. I also have a separate guy that just grinds stumps that sometimes is more cost effective than the guy who cuts the tree down for doing that. He specializes just in grinding stumps so we could have him take a look too. Maybe you could separate the two quotes and get a better price that way. Okay. So we talked about doing tick spray around the property, all the shady areas. Okay. Um, if you end up taking all these overgrown plants and white pine trees down, then, uh, then actually my thought process would be is you could end up doing something like a hedge through here, such as a uh, privet, which is what you see down in Long Island in the Hamptons. It forms like a, like almost like a fence. You could maintain it anywhere from, say, six to eight feet tall. This way you get privacy along the street, okay, as you enter the driveway. And then you could still put your uh, apple trees um, on the inside of, of the hedge, okay? So just, just a thought for the future. Once you remove these trees, all these pine trees, and once you remove the large maple, the swamp maple in the back, then uh, then you could get some more sunlight in here and the lawn would look way better. I'm gonna give you a quote for fertilizing the lawn. And again, the thought process would be uh, start amending the, the nutrients in the soil now, amending the pH, and then do the lawn renovation where you see the big results come, come uh, September. Okay, that would be your smart move. Um, if you take out this tree, we could give you the quote for removing the stump grindings. For you know, they have to grind all these stumps as well, but removing the stump grindings and adding soil, okay, to uh, to install lawn. So I think we would wait, perhaps, until you uh, get a quote for the trees, and then we can give you a quote for that if you if you would like. Um, I would probably transplant the ornamental grass elsewhere. It's just funny to have it in the center of the property. Maybe there's a wellhead in there, something they're trying to block. But, but anyways, that's just a thought. Blow good maple, crab apple tree. Crab apple tree will get uh, something called uh, apple rust, which is uh, just a foliar disease. It doesn't kill the tree, it just makes it look like these little yellow blotches on the leaves. Probably not worth treating it because you have to treat it three times in the spring. And it's not cheap to do it. So again, I probably wouldn't suggest that. Um, Extending this trench all the way down to the woods. So that's roughly, I can look it on Google Earth, but it's roughly about 100 feet um, trenching and then installing the pipe if, you, you know, if you're considering doing that. Okay. A trench drain here, which is similar to what you have over here. All right, going through here and then connecting it to that pipe. So it's about seven feet. Okay, starting here, going to there. What's going on over here? Oh, it looks like a window well right there. So I, I don't think there's any work in regards to this area. I think like you said the water was over only here but you could correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay you might decide to do some spring seeding this spring seeding this spring just in this area right here and around your patio. So this kind of this side of the property. I'll give you a quote just for that spring seeding this spring because it's really really bare and at least you'll get some improvement as far as filling in some of these patches and this is where you're going to spend all your time so it probably makes sense to maybe just do this one section of the property core area and seed in the spring to give you some better results and then you'll get your real big bang for results come fall when you core aerate and seed the whole property okay I think that's about it. We'll talk soon. Thank you.